How to Multiply Monomials. This tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash monomial, where there's a bunch of other goodies, including extra practice problems worked out step by step, as well as worksheets with answer keys. Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to be able to simplify expressions like you see on the screen, which are just, which just boils down to multiplying monomials like 3x and 5x squared y. But before we try to do that, let's step back and review some prerequisite knowledge that you need to have under your belt first. So we all know that 3 times 5 is 15, hopefully. I just want to remind you that we could rewrite the order. We could rewrite this as 5 times 3 equals 15 because when we're multiplying, order doesn't matter. 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. And we can do the same thing for larger expressions like this. 3x times 5x. Remember, this is really 3 times x times 5 times x. All of these can be rewritten any way we want. It's the same as 3 times 5 times x times x, or any other way that you would like to arrange the terms. This applies to expressions with multiple terms and exponents. Right? Let's say we want to multiply 3x squared times 5xy. We could rewrite this as 3 times 5 times x times x times y squared times y if we wanted, or any other way. Of course, we have to keep the exponent there because exponents come first in the order of operations. But in terms of the multiplication, and remember, all, when you don't see it, there's really like a hidden multiply sign there. These can be arranged in any order that you want. They can also be grouped any way you want. We could take the, this term and write it as 3 times 5 times x times x times y squared times y. Right? So when we're multiplying, we can rearrange any way we want, and we can group however we want. These are two key concepts for, solve, for simplifying expressions like this, where we're going to multiply two monomials. And basically, it's going to boil down to um, the following steps. The first step is to group your terms. So let's group the coefficients, 3 times 5. Right? We're just going to rechange the order. And then let's group the x and the x, the x's together. And let's group the y's. Right? The 3 and the 5 we put in the front, the x and the x squared here, and the y there. Then step number 2 is just to simplify. Right, 3 times 5 is 15. Now you do have to remember when you multiply expressions um, like x and x squared, you actually add the exponents, so it's x cubed and y. And so all that we did was use what we talked about before, which was rearranging the order and grouping, and then remembered an old rule involving exponents. And just a quick recap there, in case you forget. Whenever you're multiplying um, bases with uh, the same base, two different exponents, you just add them. This is x to the 2 plus 3, or x to the 5th. Right? We employed that rule here when we said x times x to the 2nd is really x to the 3rd. Okay, so we're going to follow the same steps we did here. We're going to group and then simplify. Let's group the coefficients for the numbers like we did up above. We've got 5 times 4. Let's group the x's, x and x cubed. And group the y's. We've got y squared times y cubed. Oh, I forgot a parenthesis here. Then simplify. All right. 5 times 4 is 20 x times x cubed is x to the fourth. Remember, we add the exponents, 3 and 1. And y squared times y cubed is y to the fifth. All right, so group them, then simplify. Uh, then let's, let's try a little harder one. Negative 7x cubed times 5xy squared times 3. Let's make this x to the fourth, y to the third, k. All right, so step one is going to be to group. Let's group. The 7 times the 5 and the 3, get all of our coefficients together. And let's group the x's, <coughs> which would be x 
times x to the oh sorry the first term is x cubed over here then x then x to the fourth and we've got y squared and y cubed and we only have one k and that's on the last term here okay and then simplify negative 7 times 5 times negative 3 is negative 105 and remember we're going to add all the exponents x to the third times x to the first times x to the fourth is x to the eighth y squared times y cubed is y to the fifth and k and then if you want to get rid of the parentheses you can all right, so that's it for multiplying monomials. All you have to do is remember we can rearrange the order of multiplication any way we want. We can group them any way we want. And you also have to remember this rule for exponents. If you have all that under control, all you do is group, then simplify.